Hi, Johnny. How are you doing at this stage? Um, obviously, you have forced off late in the game. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm okay now. Um, obviously, you got a, a bang in the head, um, but I, I feel okay now. It's like a, a bit of a bump on the on the side of the temple, and um, I should be okay. Hopefully, I'll do all the well used to this as return to play protocols, and hopefully, I'll be okay for for training next week. If you, if you don't want to answer this, obviously you don't. But did you pass the HIA, or, or what's the process there? I haven't done one yet. I haven't done one yet. I'll do one later, and I'll do one tomorrow, obviously. Okay. Uh, what's your sense of the game after that? It was, it was obviously crazy. The red card thrown there, but Ireland. You guys obviously got very close in the end. What's your sense of, of that one? Yeah, very proud of the way we uh, fought back. You know, with 14 men, it, it changes everything in terms of like everything that you've planned, uh, all the different set plays. They just go out the window and you gotta, you got to ad lib. And I'm proud of the way we reacted and got ourselves into that position to go 13 6 up was some outstanding stuff. Um, and it could have even been better. Like, you know, there was a key chance at the start when we crossed, you know, I think it was uh, Josh and she, CJ just went into the same hole and something that we spoke about, you know, those little moments uh, where that was before the red card, I think, and, you know, we could have we could have had a lead from there. Um, yeah, and then we started the second half, we made a couple of sort of unforced errors, um, doing trying to do the right thing, but, um, yeah, errors all the same, and, and like, but both, both sides make errors. You saw the games yesterday, like there's going to be errors in international rugby because the pressure that you put on each other. Um, but we made them at key times, you know, 13 6 up, and we made it, you know, two or three to, to give them the opportunity to to get a score. But we're still ahead, then, you know what I mean? We're still ahead, and we're still we're still controlling a lot of the game, even though we're playing with 14. So, um, yeah, and then some of our discipline at the end. But again, is, is we have to have a look whether it's discipline or whether it's the interpretation, I'm not sure. We'll have a look, closer look. Um, and I just felt we didn't get any any of the 50-50s towards the end or through the game. Um, so we'll have to have a look at them as well. Lastly for me, um, Andy just said you don't win at Six Nations on the first day. Is that how the players are feeling that there's plenty of rope left in this? Yeah, of course. It's just all about next week now. The bonus point loss uh, could, be, could be crucial towards the end, you know. Um, you know, we could be top of the table next week if we get a big result at home. But we know that we're playing against arguably the, the, the form team in Europe, the, the best team in Europe, um, and uh, we're going to have to come together and and put, you know, fix the the wrongs from today. And and uh, I, I fully back this group to do it. Thank you, Johnny. Is there any solace to be taken? In defeat, that you're close enough that you, another score would have won it for you. Is it easier to take a defeat like that than it is to take a defeat where maybe you don't get as close or there's a couple of scores in it? Uh, it's, it's, it's any defeat at international level is good. In you know, we spoke at half time about it's going to come down to the small things, and we didn't get enough of those small things right. And we spoke about it being a could have been a very famous victory for us, you know, to go to 14 men so early in the game and come away against, you know, any time you play Wales in Cardiff, it's an incredibly tough game and to, to have done it with 14 men would have been incredibly special, but it wasn't to be. It was a supreme effort for the second uh, 20 minutes of the match, but did that take a lot out ultimately? Did you feel that it, it had taken a lot out of you to, to, put, to get ahead at, at that point? It's all small things, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I know I say it a lot, but you know, we've an exit scrum, we, we make a, break, a great half break by Gary. Another day, the, the offload sticks and we're, we're down the other end of the pitch, like attacking again, we're 13-6 up, we're flying. Um, it's just small things, you know what I mean? I thought we could have defended the, the two tries better, but you always feel that, you know, you always look at yourself and you always look at the team and think we could have done better. At the same time, the effort was, was incredible. Like you wouldn't have known we were playing with 14 men if you were looking at the, at the game. So uh, very proud. Okay, cheers. Best of luck. Thank you. Johnny, have you had a chance to talk to Billy Burns? Did you see him yet? I presume you'd have a lot of sympathy there for him. Yeah, like, you know, you, I said it to him, I said to him, I said, Billy, you got to go for it. And he did. And like, I went for one as well in the second half, because when you're 
when you're chasing the game, you're eight points down, or as when Willie, when Billy was taking the kick, he was we were five points, and you gotta you gotta put a five meters out. Like you gotta, that's when you that's when you score a try. If you put a ten meters out, a good mall very rarely gets over. So, you know, he goes for it. Other days, you're the hero. You, you stick a ride in the five, and it's the life of a the life of a number ten. You know, can come down to you know small small margins and. Uh, but I thought he did very well in, in, in the other parts of the game, and um, it's not that's one moment. You know, there's just there was plenty through that second half where we and the first half that we we could have done better. But in saying that, it's tough when you're when you're playing with 14 men. How is he doing in the dressing room? I appreciate it so soon after. Like he looked pretty good at the lads were rallying around him. It's a tough moment for a guy who's been waiting for his chance, like isn't it? Yeah, it's it's like I've been there. Um, you know, as a ten, like I said, you you have moments where you're the hero. You have moments where you're the villain because you put yourself on the you put yourself in those moments, and that's that's the responsibility that you have. And um, like I said, if you kick the ball onto the twenty-two, I think that would have been worse than than going for it. And um, you know, to to go and, and properly try and uh, stick a five meters out didn't come off from, but um, he, he'll learn from it and he'll he'll go again. Johnny, I just wanted to ask you about, um, you know, there was a lot of great performances out there today, but Robbie Henshaw was one of the guys who really kind of excelled for Ireland today. Just just for yourself, like the, the form he's been in, the season's been incredible, and he, and he showed it again today, I thought. Yeah, he's, he's been outstanding. Um, he is, he's really grown over the last couple of months, you know, off the pitch as well, in terms of his, his leadership, finding his voice, and um, he's got it all, Robbie. Um, he can, like I said, he, there's nothing that he can't do in terms of the game, um, and he's just got to put it all together, stay injury free, and, and you need a little bit of luck for that. And uh, I think his performance was outstanding. Um, but like I said, in terms of effort, I think everyone was outstanding. Um, you know, to to that Welsh team is very experienced, has a lot of good players, and um, yeah, you're playing at home. It's always going to be a tough game. When you guys take the last one, guys. Oh, yeah, someone else wants to hop in, go for it. I'll do it then if that's okay. Um, I was just going to say, Johnny, when you guys were, were pushing, uh, you know, at the ends, you know, there's a couple of Welsh guys, you know, when you guys were pushing that late score, there could have been yellow cards shown and, and Wayne kept the cards in his, his pocket. Was that kind of frustrating for you guys? Yeah, you, you said it. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, like, what, what, like, it's just clear for me. It's clear, um, you know, I, the the Tompkins sticking his hand out, the, the the hand in the rook. I don't I don't know I don't know what else to say. I'm not blaming. I'm blaming ourselves for the loss. But when you show the bravery that we showed, um, the you know they're tough to take. But again, it's, it's not a surprise really. Okay.